A pressure pilot is used to monitor and control upstream or downstream pressure between 75 and 2500 psi. It does this by pneumatically positioning a control valve to achieve your desired set point. The Kimray Bellows Controlled Pressure Pilot is modular, versatile, and easy to use in several applications. Part of its value is that it can act in either direct or indirect mode with a simple modification. In this video, we're going to cover two scenarios, changing the bellows for a different operating pressure and converting from indirect to direct acting for repurposing from a back pressure to a pressure reducing operation. In the bellows controlled pressure pilot, the bellows itself can be changed to better suit your operating conditions. This could be useful if you were previously using a 250 pilot and now needed to control pressure below 200 PSI. For this scenario, we're going to be converting a 250 pilot to a 75 pilot, which will then operate from 75 to 750 PSI. The same process can be used to convert a 75 pilot to a 250 pilot, but you will also need to have a spring ready to install. To begin, make a mark on the pilot so that aligning components will be easier later during assembly. Next, remove the adjustment bolt. The goal is to remove the spring tension. You can either take it all the way out or back it out to the point where you can start unthreading it by hand. With the valve package isolated from all gas sources, disconnect the tubing. Using a 9 16 and 11 16 wrench, Remove the bracket bolts and separate the pilot and bracket from the high pressure control valve package. Turn the pilot upside down and secure it in a vise. Use a 9 16 wrench to remove the four screws from the body. Separate the lower housing and the pilot and set them aside. Remove the diaphragm plate from the bonnet. If it's stuck, use a flathead screwdriver to remove it. Remove the spring plate and inner spring from the bonnet. Replace the spring plate and add grease if necessary. Replace the diaphragm plate and pilot using your markings to make sure it's aligned. To replace the bellows assembly, first remove the lower housing from the main body. Unthread and remove the bellows. If necessary, use channel locks, but be careful not to damage the assembly. Carefully remove the o-ring on the bellows. This will need to be reused on the new assembly, so be careful not to damage it. It is also a good idea to inspect the o-ring on the main body. If there is damage, the repair kit will include the replacements for all the soft goods. Roll the o-ring over the threads and install it on the new bellows assembly. Thread the new bellows into the lower housing by hand. Then reinstall the housing on the main body, pushing down with your hand and making sure to align the markings. Using your markings, align the bonnet, pilot, housing, and body. The inlet and outlets will be 90 degrees from the vent ports. Replace the screws and bracket and tighten with a crisscross pattern, evenly distributing pressure as you tighten. In this scenario, the pressure range is now between 75 and 750 psi. The original gauge will work for this pressure range, but may be difficult to review accurately. You may want to purchase the appropriate pressure gauge instead. If you were converting this from a 75 to a 250 pilot, you would need to purchase a 2500 PSI gauge in order to operate it. Reattach the pilot to the control valve and install your tubing. Another way that the pressure pilot is modular is that it can be configured for indirect or direct acting actuation. The standard setup for a back pressure valve's fail position is fail open, which would mean that the pressure pilot would be indirect acting. 
When it's in indirect mode, an increase in sense pressure will decrease the output pressure to the valve, while a decrease in sense pressure will increase the output to the valve. In direct acting mode, an increase in sense pressure will increase the output pressure to the valve, while a decrease in sense pressure will decrease the output to the valve. Begin the same way previously shown for changing the bellows assembly. Make a mark on the pilot so that aligning components will be easier later during assembly. Next, remove the adjustment bolt. The goal is to remove the spring tension. You can either take it all the way out or back it out to the point where you can start unthreading it by hand. With the valve package isolated from all gas sources, disconnect the tubing. Using a 9 16 and 11 16 wrench, remove the bracket bolts and separate the pilot and bracket from the high pressure control valve package. Turn the pilot upside down and secure it in a vise. Use a 9 16 wrench to remove the four screws from the body. Separate the lower housing and main body from the pilot. Separate the pilot from the bonnet and set aside. Remove both diaphragm plates. If they are stuck, use a flathead screwdriver to remove them. The two diaphragm plates have different inner diameters. To differentiate between them, look at the grooves on the diaphragms. The width of the diaphragm grooves will match the width of the plate grooves. Replace the diaphragm plates on the correct diaphragms. Holding the pilots and plates in place, flip the unit 180 degrees and place it back on the bonnet. In this instance, we are only changing the action of the pilot, so this is as much as required for disassembly. Using your markings, align the bonnet, pilot, housing, and body. Align the sense holes with the supply and output holes. The inlets and outlets will be 90 degrees from the vent port. Replace the screws and bracket and tighten with the crisscross pattern, evenly distributing the pressure as you tighten. At this point, the pilot is ready to be attached to the control valve. However, if the pilot action is changing, the valve fail position will also need to be changed. This will affect the tubing connections for the pilot output and the pilot sense line. For more details about building packages for back pressure or pressure reducing applications, watch our other videos for step-by-step -step instructions. When all the components are configured correctly to work together, put the adjusting screw back into the pressure pilot and adjust it accordingly. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or call your nearest Kimray store or distributor. We can answer your questions or set up an in-person training session and demos for you and your whole team.